So here's a quick topic. Pet peeves when driving and road rage. We'll add a little road rage as the cherry on top. So, so I have pet peeves and I have two specific ones that will make me literally breathe fire. And those ones, they're actually kind of tied together because they're similar in that it's, it's just lane control and, uh, and looking where you're going. I guess you could boil them down. I'll explain the two of them to you. And then I will also ask a question about road rage at the end. So, 6203. So here's the two. So, first one, there's two lanes, just like this. Okay, speed limit, 60. So, everyone's doing 60 down this road, or 70 because that's more likely. But, so everyone's driving down this road, just like this, traffic's this way. Now, let's just say that uh, Mr. fucking ambulance up there, three or four cars ahead, he's gonna turn left, but there's no designated left turn lane. So he just puts his blinker on and he slows down. Everybody in this lane comes to a stop. That sucks. We gotta wait. The pet peeve that I have is people who just put their blinker on wait for like a one or two car length gap and just crank it over into that lane from a stop expecting that their vehicle is going to be doing 70 in like two car lengths which is just unless you have a GTR it's not going to happen So they cause, they almost cause an accident just about every time because not only, it's not this first guy. Say this, this guy was the first guy to see the CX-7 rip across in there. He's got to jam on his brakes. He knows what's going on though. So he jams on his brakes as hard as he can. Maybe he doesn't hit that person. But the six people behind him progressively have less notice and have to brake harder because of that shockwave effect thing. So it's just ridiculous, the danger of that and when people do it I just want to like ride up next to them at this next stoplight reach in pull their keys out throw them in the fucking ditch and then grab their wallet take their license out and cut it up in front of their face and then spit on them that's a, that's a, the nicest thing that I could think of doing because it doesn't involve really bodily harm so I don't I don't want a lawsuit <laughs> so so that's one of them Switching lanes when your lane of traffic stops thinking that you're Gonna be able to get into a lane that's already doing seven. So second, but there's two left turn lanes that turn on to a two-lane road So you're you're able to turn left At two lanes and I'll show you there's one coming up right here People who don't follow the lines when there's two left turn lanes those people fucking drive me nuts so so let's just say that these two lanes here on the far left they both turn left just say that huge truck decided to just turn into the inside lane instead of the outside lane you would take out like eight cars I see it all the time and people people do it and they almost cause accidents by either side swiping someone or or getting like so close to the rear of someone that if that person tapped the brakes they'd be in the trunk already or you know cutting someone off so that someone else has to jam on their brakes to narrowly miss you know rear ending them which in that case that would probably look like the other guy's fault right so oh this is fancy I want to go down that way that was for motorcycles only so uh, so my second pet peeve is is also 
uh, involves lane control and uh, but that one that one's more of like I just want to ram the guy which should, I guess would be hit and run um, but so what's what's your guys opinion on road rage if someone does something um, that pisses you off it doesn't have to be my examples but if someone does something that pisses you off um, and you get totally infuriated which I'm sure we've all been there um, should it be okay to go and take that person's license oh my god that's an accident Someone just got hit. There's an ambulance right there. Look at these people. I need to get where I'm going. I wonder if I should stop and help. There's an ambulance right there. Let the professionals do it. Wow. Action packed drive to the do I'm going to the doctor right now. I feel like compelled to go and like, rip people out of that SUV. <laughs> I can't believe that there was a fucking ambulance right there when that happened. That's ridiculously coincidental. <sighs> I got 15 minutes. I could go back there and fucking hulk out. Okay. On with the show. So... <laughs> Speaking of vehicular manslaughter, so do you guys think that it should be all right to cut up someone's license as a, like a citizen's arrest if they perform a, an act that endangers the public in their vehicle? I I didn't see that because the ambulance was too close to me. Ah, that's exactly why I was speeding there. And I wasn't actually speeding, I was just, you know, I was going as fast as legally possible. But I wanted to beat that light and I missed it by a hair. Uh. Me next. No advanced. Stay where you are, left turn. Yeah, I know where you're going. See, look at that. That's pretty good response time. Yeah, I've never been here before on this street though oh it's over there <laughs> 